Hey guys, I'm a verified educator at an academy and along with that I'm also teaching live at an academy plus to access my live classes You can take an academy plus subscription now an academy plus offers some interesting features apart from live classes which include detailed and complete explanation of a particular course then where you have problem a discussion for self-evaluation you can also watch recorded version of the class in case if you miss out any live session you have regular doubt clearing sessions for doubt clearing and to clarify all your problems you also get access to the whatsapp group to clear and discuss problem among the other plus students now if you have found these features interesting and want to join an academy plus i'll recommend you to use my referral code that is n underscore huda to get 10 percent discount on the subscription fee now that's all about an academy plus let's continue with our video hello everyone and welcome to the channel we'll, uh, we'll be discussing this question over here which was asked for four marks in your june 2019 exam okay and this question was actually from your organic reaction mechanism but here was a portion of your uh, photochemical reactions or photochemistry used over here as you can see over here in the second uh, condition it was given like h new like you it was given to you right so this reaction uh, actually was a part of two uh, different reactions the first and second combinedly are actually your barton reaction okay are your barton reaction and your uh, third part uh, will do beckman rearrangement okay so we will we'll be understanding the whole reaction through the mechanism of it uh, so in the next few minutes i'll try to explain that what actually is happening in this uh, reaction and how you are getting the final product so let's start with it all right so we'll start to see the mechanism of it so this is the molecule given to you in the first step you are treating it with pyridine and with nocl so pyridine being being a base so what that will do let me just show you so pyridine will take the acidic proton from this given molecule so the most acidic proton is this oh hydrogen so the hydrogen of this uh, hydroxy uh, group so this hydrogen will be abstracted by this pyridine basically so you will be getting uh, ox like O minus charge over here so this hydrogen being abstracted by the pyridine so the next thing which you will get will be a negative charge on this oxygen so this is what the base will do okay so pyridine being a strong base that will do like that that will just abstract the acidic proton so you will get O negative charge over here now in the next step you are having NOCl right or you can write it like this NOCl so what this will do now this O negative charge it will do the nucleophilic addition and uh, it will just uh, attack on this nitrogen and this chlorine will uh, just uh, that will be liberated out of the reaction and you will get O and O so the next thing the next product which will be formed in the uh, in this step will be your something like this okay so this is going to be like O no okay so this is what you will get up till now so this was uh, all which you can do with the first step so the first step of reaction is going to give you up to this now next we are going to introduce we are going to introduce h new that means we are going to shine uh, light on it right so now the photochemical reaction will be done so let's say we are giving h new so what will happen over here homolytic fission will happen okay so homolytic fission of most uh, like uh, the weakest bond that is O and oxygen nitrogen bond and that will be homolytically uh, like homolytic fission will be done a radical will be formed on this oxygen and a NO radical will be formed so NO radical is being liberated out and what you are getting in this step is the product with oxygen having a radical okay so something like this okay so this is what you will get over here in this step now uh, as you can see this is oxygen and if I just mention over here so this is your alpha carbon this is your beta carbon this is your gamma carbon and this is your delta carbon and it has a hydrogen right so this is nothing but your Barton reaction a Barton reaction is also a kind of uh, a photochemical reaction and if you don't know about Barton reaction I will give you a link over here in the I button you can click over there and watch that video on Barton reaction I've explained what happens over there and how you can predict the uh, the product so basically what happens in Barton reaction is that your delta hydrogen is being abstracted uh, by this oxygen radical and uh, uh, like 
uh, alcohol is being formed over there okay so this bond will be homolytically fused and this hydrogen will be abstracted by this oxygen to form a uh, alcohol okay alcohol will be formed and this is what you will get okay so you will be forming a radical at this particular place because this bond has been homolytically fused and you will get OH so this is what you get up till now now remember we were having NO radical in this step so where that NO radical will go it will no uh, it will not go anywhere but it will just like it will just being abstracted by this uh, this radical okay so these two radicals will get abstract uh, like they will just fuse together to form a new bond to form a NO okay so that means delta substituted uh, NO nitro uh, sorry um, delta substituted uh, NO and OH will be formed in this step that's what happens in the Barton reaction so you will be having something like this up till now okay so you have formed NO and OH so this is what happened up till now whatever the reactions has uh, like whatever the reagents and uh, the sunlight or the photochemical reaction has carried away to this particular product now the next thing which will happen is nothing but your tautomerization you can see that over here you will be having a hydrogen right and this oxygen has lone pair in, on it so a tautomerization will happen uh, this particular oxygen will abstract this this hydrogen this bond will shift over here and this bond will come over here uh, resulting in the product formation so what you will get I'll just draw it over here so you will get something like this okay so you will be having C double bond N over here because this bond has been shifted over here now with nitrogen you will be having OH and rest of the thing will remain as it is so what is this what is this this is nothing but auxin okay so this second step was nothing but auxin formation so up till now what has happened in the first step you have formed a species uh, like uh, a nitro ONO kind of group and later on in the second step using Barton reaction and then rearrangement or uh, due to tautomerization this is tautomerization okay tautomerization so after this tautomerization auxin has been formed now let's see what this auxin will do and what will happen in the third step now this was the auxin formed up to the second step up to the reaction of the second step now you are treating it with H2SO4 you are give, giving acid to that so that means H plus will be there right so that H plus will be like this oxygen containing the lone pair will abstract this H plus and you will get uh, OH2 group over here which is a very good leaving group and that will leave the reaction in the next step so you will be having double bond N then OH2 right with a positive charge and rest of the thing will remain as it is so now what will happen over here see now in this particular step your ring expansion will be done this is this whatever I am doing is nothing but Beckman rearrangement okay so Beckman rearrangement okay rearrangement so Beckman rearrangement what happens over here that this particular uh, ring will expand so five member ring will expand to a six member ring so now you have to look key what will happen and from where this ring expansion will be done there are two ways either this particular group will expand and this will fall on nitrogen or this particular bond will break and it will fall on nitrogen so what will be considered which you have to give more preference that you have to understand over here first of all if the stereochemistry would have been given over here that means if the stereochemistry of the of this particular reagent might have been given in the quotient then in that case always the uh, like this is the migrating group right so either this or this both of them any of these are migrating group and which is the leaving group so OH2 is the leaving group so your migrating group and the leaving group should be anti to each other they should be anti to each other so then we would have uh, like easily understood that what uh, which will be the migrating group over here. but since stereochemistry is not given to you so in this case you have to go for the migratory aptitude okay so we will uh, we will decide that which part will migrate through migratory aptitude so migratory aptitude migratory aptitude uh, for many of the rearrangement it's different for different rearrangements but generally uh, for pinacol pinacol rearrangement and uh, like for general uh, rearrangement reactions 
and I have also discussed the same thing in the previous video as, as well that the migratory aptitude has a uh, like it has a, a like priority order right so in that priority order if you just talk about the alkyl parts so the migratory aptitude of the alkyl groups is given by this order that is three degrees most uh, prior than two degree and then one degree now look upon this uh, case over here if you just uh, look at these two carbons which are being migrated this particular carbon is a two degree carbon whereas if this carbon is being migrated this is a one degree carbon right so obviously two degree will be given more priority and that's why this part will migrate so the migratory aptitude of the of this particular part is more than this one right so let me just uh, like number it up uh, carefully so that we don't miss out any group so this is let's say this is carbon number one this is two uh, this is three this is four this is five and this is six so th that's how the six membered ring will be formed so let me just draw that okay so the six membered ring along with the six membered uh, aromatic ring will be something like this this is the ring which is already there the aromatic benzene ring and along with that you will be having like one two okay so this is one this is two and this is three with three and four at fourth position you have nitrogen and five and six okay so this is three this is four this is five and this is six now just look at it very carefully that between three and four you are having double bond so let's draw the double bond so there is a double bond between three and four at fifth position we were having this uh, this particular substitution so let me just make that substitution so it's like that only all right now just look upon this very carefully what is happening over here that this bond is actually breaking the bond between five and three is being broken and new bond has been formed between five and four so where the electron density has been lost so since this bond has been broken this bond is being broken so this this particular position that is carbon number three should have a positive charge why because this bond is being broken and a new bond is formed between five and four right so that means five the electron density of this five has not been went anywhere it is retained because five and four are again forming the bond but between five and three this bond has been broken so earlier it was a bond between three and five now there is no bond between three and five so three carbon number three should have a positive charge so it should have a carbocation at its place okay so this is how it will be formed let me just uh, like overwrite it so that i don't miss it out so it's the positive charge over here at this place so this will be formed in this particular step what has happened due to migratory aptitude migration of this particular group has happened this two degree carbon has been happened and this is how the six membered uh, ring has been formed now what, what will happen in the next step uh, like you you will be treating it with water right you will be having water in the molecule so that will come and that will attack on this particular third carbon and uh, the molecule or the product which you will be having on um, that will be something like this okay so here you will be having o and h and h with a positive charge and there was a double bond and we were having o h over here and this was the aromatic ring so let it be like that only so this will be formed in the next step all right so this is what happened up till now now basically this oxygen since it is it is having a positive charge so this bond will shift over here this hydrogen will be liberated because you have taken hydrogen the first step from the uh, from the acid so you have to give that back right so you'll be giving that hydrogen back to it so in the next step what will be formed is this O H over here and a double bond at this position all right and here we were having O H now what can happen in this step so this is the this is how your final product is now being like the final product is taking shape, shape right so this is in all form okay so now you can do keto in all tautomerization okay so you have keto in all tautomerization or tautomerization basically tautomerization so what will be formed as the final product so your final product will look something like this and we will be having o over here and rest of the thing will be like this so this is our product okay so this particular whole thing is our product so that's how whole reaction has happened in the first two steps we have done uh, uh, like we have done uh, Barton reaction along with the oxime formation and in the next reaction we have done Beckman rearrangement so that's how your final product came now let's look upon the options and let's see that what were the options and what 
like how they could have been attained what would be the different ways to attain those options okay so let's look upon to that all right so these were your options given to you now if you just look upon them uh, so this is our answer right option b is our final product which we got through the mechanism what about option a how would have how we would have got option a so in the reaction mechanism if you remember uh, we have given more priority to two degree alkyl group over one degree uh, right for the migratory aptitude like regarding uh, migratory aptitude while formation of the six membered ring we have given more priority to the two degree uh, alkyl group if somebody would have given more priority to one degree alkyl group in that case product a would have been formed okay so a is the result of one degree migration during the ring expansion process right now talking about option c so it's quite different uh, over here what they have done like uh, at the end they have removed this uh, water molecule uh, like they have just uh, done the elimination of this particular group uh, so that is not possible in this given condition so this is going to be wrong okay and in the last one this is actually the product of Beckman fragmentation okay so it's a it's a it's a result of Beckman fragmentation which generally uh, like happens but in this given condition Beckman rearrangement is more uh, probable as compared to the Beckman fragmentation okay so that's how you got option number B as your correct option so this was all about this particular question guys I hope this was like I was able to make you guys understand about uh, this particular reaction we have done two reactions in this Barton reaction which is a photochemical reaction second was your Beckman rearrangement so major part was uh, from the uh, Barton reaction okay so this is how question are asked from organic reaction mechanism you should be uh, smart enough to identify that which reaction is given and what will happen in the uh, respective uh, steps so that's all for this video guys from my side uh, I'll just sign off so before ending this video if you are new to this channel please subscribe to it and if you like this video do give it a like and if you want to ask anything you can comment and ask me in the comment box below so thank you so much guys for watching the video have a great day bye bye